The highly anticipated matchup between Francis Ngannou and Renan Ferreira at the PFL Superfight, Battle of the Giants, promised an electrifying clash of titanic heavyweights. On one side stood Francis Ngannou, the former UFC heavyweight champion renowned for his devastating knockout power and intimidating presence in the division. On the other side was Renan Ferreira, a Brazilian powerhouse boasting a considerable reach advantage and formidable technical skills, making him a serious threat in the heavyweight landscape. As the fight commenced, the atmosphere was thick with anticipation. Both fighters entered the cage with palpable respect for each other's abilities, fully aware that a single misstep could alter the course of the match. Enganu wasted no time in asserting his dominance, delivering a powerful low kick early on that momentarily knocked Ferreira off his stance. This initial strike was a clear indication of Enganu's intent to weaken Ferreira's base and create openings for his formidable striking arsenal. Ferreira, undeterred by the early assault, responded with his own low kick, successfully knocking Enganu off balance. This exchange of leg kicks demonstrated that both fighters were meticulously gauging each other's strengths and weaknesses, employing tactical maneuvers to gain the upper hand. Ferreira's eagerness to push the pace and his aggressive front foot approach highlighted his determination to challenge Enganu's reputation as a fearsome striker. Despite Ferreira's aggressive advancements, both fighters exhibited remarkable patience, carefully calculating their moves and waiting for the opportune moment to unleash significant strikes. A brief exchange of punches followed, characteristic of heavyweight bouts, where both men are cautious not to overextend and expose themselves to devastating counters. This careful approach underscored the high stakes of the fight, where one decisive blow could swiftly end the contest. However, the dynamics of the fight took a dramatic turn when Enganu executed a surprising takedown catching Ferreira off guard. Known primarily for his knockout prowess, Enganu showcased his evolving skill set by successfully scoring a takedown through his enhanced wrestling abilities. Ducking under Ferreira's wild swing, Enganu secured an easy takedown, demonstrating his growing proficiency in grappling a crucial addition to his already formidable striking game. With Ferreira on the ground, Enganu wasted no time in asserting control, pushing his opponent against the cage to establish dominance. From this advantageous position, Enganu unleashed his infamous ground and pound, delivering a relentless barrage of strikes aimed at incapacitating Ferreira. Despite Ferreira's attempts to defend himself, including using a grapevine technique to trap Enganu's legs and momentarily halt his offensive progression, the power and precision of Enganu's punches proved overwhelming. Ferreira made a brief attempt to counter Enganu's ground assault by threatening with a leg triangle choke. However, Enganu's quick reflexes and experience allowed him to recognize the impending danger and escape the submission attempt with ease. Swiftly transitioning to half guard, Enganu increased his control over Ferreira, raining down heavy shots that left Ferreira struggling to defend against the onslaught. As Enganu maintained his top position, his ground and pound intensified, showcasing his immense power. Even short, heavy punches from this vantage point carried devastating force, leaving Ferreira with little opportunity to mount a defense. Ferreira's physical condition deteriorated rapidly under the relentless pressure, and within minutes, he succumbed to the barrage of strikes, going limp as the referee called an end to the bout at 3.32 of the first round. Enganu was declared the victor by knockout, underscoring his absolute dominance in the fight. The fight, though brief, was a testament to Enganu's evolution as a mixed martial artist. From the opening exchanges, it was evident that Enganu had refined his approach, balancing his renowned knockout power with strategic grappling and wrestling techniques. Rather than relying solely on wild, aggressive punches, Enganu employed leg kicks to disrupt Ferreira's base, creating openings that allowed him to implement a well-timed takedown. This tactical adjustment highlighted Enganu's dedication to becoming a more well-rounded fighter, capable of adapting his game plan to exploit his opponent's weaknesses. Ferreira entered the bout with a clear strategy to apply relentless pressure and force Enganu into uncomfortable positions, leveraging his reach advantage and technical skills. His initial aggression and forward movement demonstrated his intent to dominate the fight's pace. 
However, Enganu's experience at the highest levels of competition enabled him to remain composed under pressure, responding with measured strikes and an opportunistic takedown that shifted the fight's momentum decisively in his favor. Once on the ground, Enganu's ability to maintain control and deliver powerful strikes was unmistakable. Ferreira's attempts to defend and counter Enganu's ground game were commendable, showcasing his technical prowess and resilience. The use of the grapevine technique and the brief triangle choke attempt illustrated Ferreira's skills and his potential to trouble Enganu under different circumstances. However, Enganu's superior strength and power, combined with his strategic grappling, ultimately overwhelmed Ferreira, leaving him unable to mount an effective defense against the relentless ground and pound. Enganu's performance in this fight solidifies his standing as one of the most dangerous heavyweights in the sport. His ability to seamlessly integrate striking with grappling and wrestling underscores his versatility and continuous evolution as a fighter. This victory not only reaffirms his knockout power, but also highlights his growing technical depth, making him a formidable opponent in any promotion. For Renan Ferreira, the fight was a significant setback revealing areas that require improvement. While he demonstrated technical skills and the ability to defend against grappling attempts, the overwhelming power and control exerted by Enganu exposed vulnerabilities in his ground defense and submission game to enhance his competitiveness against top-tier opponents like Enganu. Ferreira will need to focus on strengthening his defense against powerful ground and pound and refining his submission techniques to capitalize on any openings during prolonged exchanges. The fight also serves as a stark reminder of why Francis Enganu is one of the most feared fighters in the heavyweight division. His combination of raw power, technical grappling, and strategic adaptability makes him a versatile and dangerous threat. Opponents can no longer rely solely on their striking or wrestling to counter Enganu, as his comprehensive skill set demands a multifaceted approach to combat. Enganu's ability to remain calm and composed, even when facing pressure and aggressive opponents, further enhances his reputation as a seasoned and formidable champion. In conclusion, the battle of the giants between Francis Enganu and Renan Ferreira was a showcase of dominance, strategy, and the ever-evolving nature of mixed martial arts. Enganu's first-round knockout victory not only demonstrated his absolute power, but also his strategic growth as a fighter. By effectively integrating striking with grappling, Enganu has proven that he is not just a knockout artist, but a well-rounded heavyweight capable of adapting his game plan to overcome diverse challenges. Renan Ferreira, despite the loss, showed flashes of technical skill and resilience that indicate his potential for growth. However, to compete at the highest levels, Ferreira must address his vulnerabilities, particularly in defending against powerful ground and pound and enhancing his submission defenses. This fight highlighted the importance of versatility and adaptability in mixed martial arts, where fighters must continuously evolve to stay competitive against elite opponents. For Francis Ngannou, this victory solidifies his position as a top contender in the heavyweight division, showcasing his ability to dominate opponents not just with power but with a strategic and well-rounded approach. As the division continues to evolve, Ngannou's blend of knockout power and technical prowess ensures that he remains a central figure and a significant threat to anyone who steps into the cage with him. The Battle of the Giants serves as a pivotal moment in both fighters' careers, illustrating the critical balance between power and technique in mixed martial arts. Enganu's triumph is a testament to his dedication to refining his skills and adapting his fighting style, while Ferreira's performance, though ultimately unsuccessful, provides valuable insights into his areas for improvement. As both fighters look to the future, their paths will undoubtedly intersect with other formidable opponents, each battle contributing to their legacy within the sport. Ultimately, this fight underscores the dynamic and unpredictable nature of mixed martial arts, where preparation, strategy, and adaptability are as crucial as raw power. Francis Ngannou's victory over Renan Ferreira not only enhances his reputation, but also sets the stage for future high-stakes encounters, as he continues to build his legacy as one of the most formidable heavyweights in the history of the sport.